Today for the Critics Talk, we have one of the directors that the festival has discovered last year and that continues to bring his work to the festival this year. Uh, it's a Taiwanese-Burmese director, Midi Z. And the film that bring, he brings to Rotterdam in 2013 is <coughs> called Poor Folk. Uh, Midi last year was in the Tiger Awards competition with Return to Burma. And that film already showed us something quite unusual, a country that uh, for many of us is still pretty much unknown, Myanmar. And he had a very specific edge to his presentation of his home country because what he was showing us was a Chinese community. And again, in this film, which is mostly set at the border between Thailand and Myanmar in the northwest of uh, Thailand, he presents us with characters that are mostly of Chinese origins. So his cinema is a very, very particular, specific, and unusual uh, presentation of a corner of the world that we Westerners are not very familiar with. Uh, in a way, it's obvious that I cannot help but start in this critic's talk with a question that is, uh, is obviously about the places where this film is set. Uh, can you tell us more about this location, about the people who live uh, around this border? Why are there so many Chinese-speaking people around this area? And what is your involvement with this part of the world and with these people? Okay. Um, first, the location is uh, we call Da Gu Di. It's uh, actually it's a refugee village between Burma and Thailand. And you know, the border between Thailand and Burma, there are so many uh, villages, at least 300. And since I think 1950s, there are so many people come from China, move to the border, Yunnan from the border, uh, especially uh, from the Yunnan province. That's why uh, at those kind of places, the border village places, of the most of the residents uh, come from Chinese China. That's why they s speak uh, Yunnan dialect. Of course, it's not pure Yunnan dialect. It is mixed the local dialect like Thai, like Burmese, like Ying. That's why, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another thing is why I shoot the uh, such kind of story at uh, this location because you know I'm so familiar with those places because my relatives, my friends are living there and in 2000, 2008 I went there for researching my new script and that time I met my friend uh, in, in my childhood, very best friend and he got crazy because of using drug because you know at first he sneaks into Thailand with his younger sister, and his younger sister uh, was taken away by human trafficking. That time I got strong feeling, so I write a story. Yes. So this story is actually coming from some kind of research that is very close to documentary. I mean, the story of your friend sounds really like the one of the protagonist of the film. Uh, do you think you can you can describe your film as a fictional recreation of a research that comes from documentary? Yes, I think uh, I describe it as a fiction film, yeah, but I don't mind maybe the audience uh, think it's a documentary, I don't mind. I, because all of the story comes from the reality, I choose the documentary style for this film. But uh, it's just the style, it's just the way of storytelling. And what about the people that we see in the film? Because we have the impression that some of the characters there are really taken from the places that are really people who would be part of this kind of story in real life. Can you tell us something about the faces that we see in the film, whether they are actors, whether they are known professionals, and how did you work with them? Uh, for this project, actually, most of the actors or actresses, especially sporting actresses and actors, they are all of them are non-professional. 
only the lead actor and the lead actress uh, come from Taiwan. They are professional stage actress. And uh, first, you know, I just follow my script. And after the script, I went there and for do casting. And that time, I, I found some non professional who is very suitable to, you know, the character is very suitable uh, to my script. And I found them, and of course, depends on the location, I write the, the, the script suitable than the real, you know, the character. Obviously, by shooting and working in such a specific location, uh, at the border between two countries where so much trafficking is going on, uh, the question that we all might have is, did you have any permit where you should, <laughs> how, how legally this film was shot and what kind of resources did you use? I mean, uh, what kind of crew did you have to actually shoot and record the sound? Uh, it's obviously something that, you know, sounds, uh, obvious to ask in, in, uh, within this very specific conditions. Uh, okay, actually we, yeah, it's same situation to my first feature film. We just a uh, very small crew. Yeah, we, we just bring a uh, small equipment. Uh, we just go there without, of course, without permission because it's the border place is complicated. Um, you know, the Burma side actually is not really controlled by the government. So we couldn't get the permission from the government. It's controlled by the, uh, how we call, independent army. Mm. Yeah, Burmese independent army. Uh, that's why it's complicated to get the permission. So we have no permission for shooting. And all of our crew come from Taiwan. The technician, the actress, the actor. We go there and cooperate with the local curator. Yeah. Of course, this uh, conversation is also open to interventions from the audience. If you have questions, please raise your hand and we will pass you a microphone. Oh, OK. Yes, please. I wanted to know um, how do you, um, is it very prepared when you make rehearsals yeah, or is there know. improvisation? Or how do you work with uh, directing actors? You mean the lead actress or all of the character? All of the character, even if we feel mean? that the two main characters are uh, a little okay. bit more acting. Yes, we did uh, a little rehearsal uh, for all of the character, but especially for the lead actress, she is uh, professional in Taiwan. Uh, she is a uh, stage actress before and but for this film you know I, I want the style is very natural because uh, with the exception of the main actress you know of the character are non-professional so I sent the lead actress to the border for living three months you know without washing machine just all days clean the house you know because to to familiar with the location with the atmosphere of those places and after that, when the actress, you know, uh, how to say, in interactive mm -hmm. uh, with the local non-professional character, it will become more natural. Yeah. And another uh, character like non-professional, uh, you know, uh, first, because it's a fiction, it's not documentary. That's why I follow the structure of the, my, my story. Uh, during the casting, I found some character who is very suitable to, to the character of the story. Uh, for example, the mafia guy. Of course, he is not really mafia guy, but he has the same experience, very similar to the mafia guy as before. That's why I choose him as a supporting uh, actor. And such kind of non-professional actor uh, I, I need not to do anything, you know, I just tell him, okay, what is the subject now? But you, you can talk or act free, freely, but just around our subject, yeah, like that. Uh, this, this last remark is very interesting because it relates very much 
on the actual process of writing and shooting what is written or what might have been improvised. I would like to know, in terms of the dialogues especially, what degree uh, of uh, mm, script, script dialogue is there and what degree of improvised dialogue around a, you know, a, a previously written mm -hmm. theme or conversational topic you had there? Because sometimes it feels like conversations are kind of uh, free-flowing mm -hmm. and people are just telling us their own real-life experience. Mm -hmm. Um, is, is it like that, or is it all really written? Uh, half and half. Because, you know, okay, we said it's in Chinese. There's two parts of this movie. One part is a bit more looking for the script. The other part is that, outside the script, the people in the country 那一种居民很自然的生活，他们很真实的生活。对。嗯、um, ，Well, let me put it like this in Chinese. Sorry,、um, the film、uh, consists of、uh, two parts that intersect. One is、uh, the part that went、uh, where I followed the script. I stuck with the script, and the other parts are the parts where I、um, uh, that are more improvised,、uh, that reflect the、uh, actual, very natural. Uh, way the local people live. Um, sometimes, you know, you we, as my experience, like my first feature film, uh, we couldn't control, you know, of the things. Most of the things we couldn't control until you arrived the location. Yeah. So you know, like Paulo, uh, just. Just told us it, it's nature. It's just eating and talking、uh, those people. Because when we arrived there, you know, we we can feel you know those people living. It's real living, but it's just the appearance of the、uh, of those location. You no, know, when the night falling, when the night falls, you you will find you you know some story secretly happen. Like the smuggling, like drug using, is really happened. So I choose two parts,、uh, you know, to contain the the structure of the story. Are there other questions?、Uh, well, always in regard of this element of you know、mm -hmm. being there and working with real people.、Um, You mentioned earlier that your actress had to train for three、mm. months、mm. to get accustomed to the to the actual、mm. ways of living there, not washing her clothes, no, not having、uh, <laughs> not not having a washing machine, washing machine to wash her clothes, and understanding how people live there、mm. day by day.、Um, I was wondering what the reaction was with the locals when you were there. I mean, some people might have realized that you were about to shoot and you were、mm. shooting a film. I mean, what was the atmosphere,、uh, not of the authorities, of course, but of the real-life people that were、uh, crossing your path every day throughout this long、mm -hmm. period of time you were there? Okay, 其实很多很多就是说当地很多的居民对，其实我们拍摄，他们都是非常的配合跟欢迎的。其实我觉得他们也不知道什么是艺术了。或什么是电影，他们只觉得就是我们来跟他们一起生活在一起，因为很多参与拍摄的人都是我们的亲戚嘛、朋友嘛。那。I think、um, mostly the local residents were very welcoming and and accommodating, and、uh, they made us feel、uh, at home. They didn't. I don't think most of them understand art or even know what film is. They just. Knew that we had come to live there, and、uh, you know there are relatives、uh, and our friends, and、um, it, it was fine with them that we were staying there.、Hmm. And how long did it take you actually? Because you said three months for the actress、mm -hmm. to stay there and get、uh, acquainted with the place. I mean,、um, the film is taking place in several locations.、Mm -hmm. It looks like. I mean, there is a field out there that. Probably is on the border.、Uh, there are the houses, the、uh, the the hotel where the drug 
smugglers are mm. staying, uh, the different places where they meet the different drug lords. So um, I was wondering, in between the research process mm. and the acquaintance mm -hmm. process and the actual shoot, mm -hmm. how much did you stay on location? Uh, you mean the shooting time? No, no, even before, because oh, you said that, okay. that the, your actress okay. stayed there okay. three months from, from the, be uh, the beginning for researching and pre-production and shooting uh, half year. Uh -huh. yeah, six half months year. then. Six uh -huh. months. Six months. And the actual shoot inside? Uh, um, just how long did it take? Two weeks. Just two weeks? Just two weeks. Yeah, because it's very rushed. Yeah, because, you know, uh, like, you know, as at the bus station, actually the, the supporting actress, uh, a few may bring a drug, you know, mm -hmm. uh, actually he's real refugee. So, you know, at, at such kind of uh, atmosphere, we are really, uh, you know, fear that the police come to arrest her. Mm -hmm. So it must be very rushed. Mm -hmm. There is another question from the audience, please. Well, I like the film very much, so thanks for Thank you. having the opportunity to see it. Uh, uh, what I wonder is, um, you, tell me, you tell us about uh, the f where it's, uh, it's uh, filmed. Are you going to screen it there? Uh, are the people interested in seeing this film, in this movie? And uh, in general, because this is an international festival, okay, it's all right to show it here, but I think it's very interesting to screen it on that border side. And how do, how do I imagine screening it in Bangkok? Uh, how is the distribution in that country going on? <coughs> Actually, for example, my first feature film, Return to Burma, mm. was totally shot in Burma, mm. but now it couldn't be, of course, officially released in Burma. Maybe someone had a you know copy, maybe you know. But for this film, I think it, it's also different to release it in Thailand. I mean, wide release. Mm. But you know, nowadays when the residents who joined our film for shooting, they write write letter to me, call me. Okay, now we are waiting for your DVD. Please, you know, send <laughs> us to your DVD. And at the, at the border, there, there's no theater, so it's very hard to screen the film at that. But in Bangkok, it could be, but it couldn't be wide released. Of course, one problem is for this film, we, we also you know, got no permission from the Thai government. That's why <laughs> you know, it, I think it, it's difficult to release officially. But I will send the DVD to the border. Maybe I will <laughs> uh, organize a screening, you know, mm. at the border. It would be great. But it's a little, you know, danger because now uh, it's fighting at the northern place of Thailand and Burma. You know, the the government with the local independent army. Mm. Thank you. And this question about the circulation of your film, uh, your films actually, mm -hmm. both your first mm -hmm. feature and the second one is quite interesting because it somehow places you as a filmmaker without a nation. I mean, you're actually based in Taiwan. Uh, the place where your films might have circulated the most is mm -hmm. Taiwan. Mm -hmm. and, and your films are so much related to your home country, but you cannot show them in your home country. Um, how, how does it feel for you to actually uh, have this kind of strange mm. position? You're bringing images to the world mm. of Burma or Myanmar, mm. of the border between mm. Thailand, and you cannot bring them home, you cannot bring them mm. to your people. I mean, how does it feel for you as a, as a person, most of mm. all? This is uh, a deeply question, so I will <laughs> <laughs> answer it in Chinese. I think this is... 就是一直都是我的電影或我真實的人生裡面有的一些問題,就是說人的存在的問題跟認同的問題。I think this is a, uh, a an issue that runs through both my life uh, and my films. Uh, it, it is an existential question, the one you're asking. Um, uh, because it has to do with 
my existence and also with uh, identification as a human being and as a filmmaker. 对，就是就是，其实这种存在跟认同的问题，可能它在世界上，特别是很多各领域的艺术家身上都会发现。而且，其实我的感觉就是，我们的命运让我们就是在现实上，你碰到这种存存在或就是认同的问题，这些问题可能是一种痛苦或让你难受，但是刚好。你就借由电影或艺术创作，你就来抒发了，或让它得到一个舒缓。对。嗯。Um, and I think this、uh, issue of identity and uh, uh, identification and ex ex existential matters is something that is shared、uh, by many artists、uh, who are living their lives in、uh, well, you could call it diaspora. I think. Uh, outside of the countries they were、uh, born in, and I think this is part of our、uh, fate. And、um, in itself, this may make one feel、uh, very sad,、uh, and it is a very painful experience. But at the same time, being an artist, you have the opportunity to transform this pain and this sadness, and use、uh, art to、um, uh, uh, to express it、uh, and to、um, Well,、uh, yeah, express it. But in reality, it's very contradictory. For example, when I'm with my family and I'm talking to the people who are being filmed, they don't know what I'm doing. But it's still, it still makes you feel very conflicted. Because when I talk to my family or about the people who are being filmed, they don't know what I'm doing. But it's still, it still makes you feel very conflicted. Because when I talk to my family or about the people who are in the film about what I'm doing, they don't understand it at all. 但是我却在他们不知道的这些，就是说，或者是痛苦也好，或者是他们的生活也好，我却在他们的这些真实的生活里面，他们不知道的这些现实里面，就是我在创作或抒发。其实我觉得这就是可能是艺术其中的一个原因吧，做艺术。Um, but you omit this fact. Um, that they are not aware of、um, what I'm what I'm doing. You know, their the pain uh, uh, that they experience in their lives,、uh, and you know the real life that I'm trying to express in my film、uh, that I try to narrate.、Uh, I think、uh, that is part、uh, of then what makes me be an artist. But it, it is very conflicted feeling. Are there other questions from the audience? Because then maybe I can ask one last question that is somehow connected to this、mm. one,、um, and it's a general one. Obviously,、uh, things are changing very fast in Myanmar、mm. now. The country has been opening up a lot.、Uh, the president of the United States visited the、mm. country, and so much opening towards Myanmar has、mm. been happening in recent times. Do you think that there will be soon a time for you as well? To go back to your country and be able to make films, let's say,、uh, in the open, above ground rather than underground in, in Myanmar, and then to have them released and shown to the local audiences.、Uh, I think it could be possible. Actually, I just shot another short film, two short film,、uh, before a week. <laughs> you know, I just came back from Rangoon. So I think it's it's possible to shoot、uh, or to do filmmaking openly, not secretly in Burma. Now it is changing a lot. It is improving a lot. Yeah, of course, it's also you know something bad happened because you know it's also a conflict situ situation.、Uh, people waiting for the changing also afraid. You know of changing, because you know we we, 我们想要就是保持，比如说我们的自然，我们的纯真，我们的那些天真无邪，但是我们又想要改变。但是其实这些确实的改变是什么？其实对许多人来说，都我们都不知道的。嗯，可能它并不只是物质生活上的改变。嗯 ，because Um, even though we want to change,、uh, 
uh, we at the same time want to keep uh, the purity that you know we still have in in the way we live um, and um, we don't really know what the changes uh, will consist of and maybe um, they could be just material changes but maybe they are also different a different type of change and we don't know hmm. okay I think the time for this critics, uh, critics talk is basically up, mm -hmm. so we have to wrap it here. Thanks so much to Midi for sharing these mm -hmm. insightful uh, views and feelings mm -hmm. about his, your film and about Myanmar, and thanks to you all for staying for this session. Thank you, Paul.